Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of She and the Lightbearer. We are rolling in right uh, into the same... Uh, we're rolling still from the last session, um, so we're... Hi, I'm still here. Recording another half an hour episode. My voice is starting to get a little bit tired. I haven't been recording. I haven't recorded, you know, anything in a long time, so talking this much does not have my voice... My voice is not ready for... Anyways, you're seeing some websites. Uh, right now to Mojikin Studios' main website, the She and the Light Bear main website, and the Steam Store page where you can learn more about this game and purchase it for yourself if you would like to. Please give them a gander, guys. You might know uh, recognize Mojikin Studios from when we played uh, a Raven monologue, and that was a really fun game. Really, really cool little free experience, um, so I'm enjoying what they're doing. I like their, their narratives. They do really well with their stories, um, but we won't get into that till the last episode. But in the last video, we finished the trials. We got to uh, new areas and met a tree who was forgetting things because his kids had run away. And then the forest started getting corrupted by everything. And uh, now we're just trying to get back to the tree with his kids to hopefully stoke his memories. So we're going to hop right into this hole. Um, those websites, websites, websites should be wrapping up now. So let's just go ahead and roll right in. Another 30 minute episode. Here we go, boys and girls. I needed to bring some more water up here, but I did not, so. Darn. <laughs> oh, this is the beginning part of the forest. Right? Yeah. Huh, wait, this isn't Great Trees Hall, it's the forest outskirts. Why did I end up back in this place? How am I supposed to save the forest from out here? Even here, everything, all the soils and trees on the horizon, could it be the whole forest has become corrupted? Could this be the cause of Great Tree's rage and panic? Could it be too late to do anything? Now the time has come. The time when the pieces are gathered. The time when the light bearer roams the deepest part of the forest. This is the time when Mother will rise. The forest, it speaks to me loud and clear. And it speaks of Mother? Forest, are you hiding Mother? Is that why you gave me all those tests and trials? By reaching the deepest part of the forest, will Mother be able to rise again? But, how am I supposed to get back inside? Is there a way to go back? Oh, Forest, please answer me. Don't leave me alone out here. Brush, brush, breeze. Breeze, does wind linger here? Ooh, under a pile of leaves. Okay, under this? Under this pile? Hello? Oh, hello? Hello, hello? A leaf. Hello, leaf. Breeze, that breeze, a leaf? Were you hiding beneath those dead that you were hiding under your dead brethren? Breeze, okay. All right, see you later. Good, get into my bag, I suppose. Oh, hey, you guys. Bonkathum crackle brush. Oh, leaf, are they your siblings too? That means you're all great trees' children. It's great to see you all together. But you should not be jumping out all like that. You're gonna ruin my bag. Bonkathum thump crackle great tree yes yes you are right we need to find a way to go back to the great tree but where should we devours that's not good for me we go back oh my oh goodness oh mother the devourers they are everywhere I'm surrounded mother what do I do? I can't pass through them alone. Bonka thunk crackle together. You children, I almost forgot. I'm not alone here. But can we really fly through them? I'm not sure. Together. Okay, we might be. Let's do it together. Children, fight them. <gasps> Mushroom! <laughs> Hold right there, warrior. Who? Oh, mother, what happened? And what is this warm thing? Hey, Mushroom. Come closer, Firefly. Mushroom, you're back. Whoa. Mush. Terrific. The Devourers are frightened. This is the first time I have truly witnessed your greatness. But they are going to fight back immediately. Quick, go back to Great Tree, Firefly. But what about you? I can, f I can fight alongside you here. I was your warrior. What kind of warrior leaves their lore behind? Imbecile! Don't you hear the forest whispers? Fulfill the promise and wake Mother. Is Mother really asleep in this forest? Ah, uh, I slipped up. Orchid will be angry with me. 
If Mother rises, the whole forest will be saved, isn't that so? It's not the time for more questions, warrior, but you are right. Mother. The devourers are getting closer. We've got a little time left. See the twisted roots over there? No? Oh, yeah. Go inside the roots. They will take you to Great Tree. If I go, you will be alone. You have far more important task, Firefly. Only you can wake Mother. But no buts. Make haste. Okay. Godspeed, Mushroom. But a cutscene, bud. You fool, what are you waiting for? What if Great Tree cannot regain its memories? How will the forest fare? You are already prepared for this firefly. Favored by hope, blessed by wisdom. You've outsmarted Potato, understood how gloomy feels, grasped the truth of reeds, riddles, and even Orchid's secret. You've all you need, between what's inside your head and in your bag. Nevertheless, you are my bravest warrior. You were the first who wasn't afraid to talk to me. Bravest, bravest. You will be able to make more miracles, Firefly. Mushroom! Oh, God. Ah! Uh. Did I just watch him die? It's nice to finally see the sky again. I got an achievement called The Sacrifice Was To Be Made. Come on now, I'm sad. Mushroom. Oh, that root was too rough. My tail hurts. What? <laughs> Is that a... That's a... That... Yet the root did indeed take me to safety. Oh, Mushroom. Hey, Potato. Potato, you're still here? Are you safe from the devourers? I'm King Potato, of course I... Well, Mushroom protected me. Gloomy and Raid too. Will they be safe out there? I don't know, Bug. I hope they will be. Bug, why don't you stay here? Sorry, Potato, I need to go outside and get back to Great Tree. Only I, only Mother can save us. Her, her, wait, Bug. You should not take the ladder back outside. It's too dangerous. The taint has spread far. But where should I go then? Every path has been blocked by roots. Cool. Not that path. Here, go through this door. It will take you to right below Great Tree. I might be a coward and useless, but I still want to help. Oh, Potato, you're not a coward. You are full of sprouts. Don't talk about my sprouts. But you look brave with those sprouts. Really? You're flattering me, Bug. Don't waste your time here. Goodbye, Potato. I'm going in. Take care of yourself, Potato. If you meet Mushroom again, tell it I'm sorry. This is kind of getting sad. <laughs> Damn. Good luck, Potato. Hello. It, it's almost too dark here. Am I really below Great Tree's roots? And what is this melody echoing through the roots? There, I see a way out. Up there. That's probably important. Oh god, that's probably gonna- I have such a bad memory, guys. Oh, it's still beautiful! I can forget about all my troubles on the outside here. It's beautiful! Tree? Oh. The roots are still soaring. The leaves of the trees still rise high, concealing the sky. The old tree still looks sad and confused in the midst of its royal hall. And the little firefly comes back, sneaking out from the squeezing roots. Tree. This place. Finally, I'm back. Who's there? Hey, tree. It's Fruit Bearer. How did you get here? Great tree, I just got back after you threw me out with your roots. Great tree did that? Oh, how horrible. Okay, calm down. Don't cry, great tree. I'm alright, see? And your rage? We're supposed to protect us. Good. But there's something more important to do now. 
I need to wake Mother. I need to save Orchid Mushroom and the entire forest. This Great Tree is also worried about the forest. But Great Tree can't remember any of it. Oh, lawnmower. Worry not, Tree. I have brought something to help you remember. Ah, children, they are all here. How did you manage to get them all here? Oh, fruit gatherer. <laughs> we helped each other to get here. It was all for one purpose. Purpose. Sit still, Great Tree, and let the children sing your memory back to you. Come, children, hit me in the head. What? Hit you in the head? Yes, that's how they sing, right? Of course it's going to hurt a bit, but I'll hold on. Oh, wait, light hitter. What now? How about you bring them closer to me? Closer? Should I just give them to you? They're his kids, yes. Okay. There you go. Have your kids. Oh, um, there you are. Little Leaf, green and shiny, they live their lives to fulfill one noble purpose. To give us trees a decent me. Eel. So we trees can, um, so we trees can... Do you remember something, Great Tree? Keep bringing them closer to me. Okay. Berry. A berry? Why do I get this nostalgic feeling about spreading my roots? <laughs> Dude, you just gotta spread your roots every now and then. You just got to. Oh, they have instruments! Oh, they're, that one has a drum! Here, have a nut. A nut. The beginning of a tree, of course. Birth. My own birth? Oh, it plays the pan flute. That's nice. Okay. And then what? The stick? Oof. This melody, this rhythm, it makes me remember the forest. You keep telling me about her. Who is she? Wow. Plays the cello. Do you remember something, Great Tree? It's blurry. The song is still missing some strings. Who plays that? What is this bow? Bow? Why is it there? Great Tree doesn't under- Oh! Bow! I know this! Did you remember something? Play music using that bow, Light Bearer. What? Yes, play that bow's music- Oh god. Perhaps our memories are hidden among the cracks? Okay. Oh god. I don't remember. I have to go back down. Holy shit, that's long. Ooh, yeah! Up. Oh. Ow. Branch, fruit, nut, and leaf dance amid the tones and rhythm they create together. Merging and transforming into an ancient memory that is finally open, they whisper to each other, finally welcoming the arrival of the light of hope. <laughs> God, my nose. This song. The entire forest is singing, whispering their stories to me. My mind has never been this clear. Mother, it's been so long since I remembered you. So you remember everything now, Great Tree? Yes, I remember now. My memories flow, twinkling and gleaming like clear water. Now I know for certain that I am the first tree of this forest. The beginning of everyone. Damn. Wherever I spread my roots, I can give life, from the tallest tree to the shortest grass. All of this, this strong trunk and these capable roots, are a glorious gift from Mother. All of me is made from her love for this world. I love her so much. For her, I carried out my task to keep this forest safe, to hide her, to, to, to forget her. I can't keep secrets like Orchid, nor be a good leader like Mushroom. The best thing I could do was to forget. Why did you have to carry this kind of burden? Because we share the same purpose, Light Bearer. A simple purpose. To keep her safe until the day you came to us. A purpose which you successfully brought out from the deepest part of these roots. A purpose that once was owned by the forest, now will be yours to keep. You give me the forest's purpose? Yes. Look behind you, for there is a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat, and it's pretty cool. 
Even though it has stopped playing notes, the bow still hums kindly, not to awaken ancient memories, but for to put forth a noble purpose. The purpose that gives every living thing meme, 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 memes, meme, purpose for a small creature to step forward. Purpose that becomes the beginning of the long awaited end. Once in the beginning, Mother stayed and sang me a lullaby with this bow. This time you played it to make me remember her. The pieces are complete. Only you can bring these parts of Mother together to make her whole again. Oh, another thing! Another situation! Very cool. Thanks, dude. I'll take that. <laughs> With this, the path to Mother is open for you, Lightbearer. You want me to go in there? You want me to go in? I don't want to go in there. So all this time, Mother was within you? Yes, I hid her too well. I concealed her from every creature, including myself. So that's why your task was to forget. It is a completely sealed place inside, full of ancient promises. I've been waiting for the light bearer to light it up for a long time, so that the truth will no longer be frightening whispers, so that Mother will return to the world and save us all. I've said enough, light bearer. Come in and embrace the answer you seek before I forget it again. Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks, tree. See you later. I'm gonna go into your, I assume, mouth, but probably your... I hope it's your mouth. You know, what other kind of hole there could be? I don't know, but... Hello? The darkness is swallowed by tranquility. Roots and trees are silent. No trace of the sky can be seen in this deepest place. The forest holds it tightly. The firefly is the first light bearer to ever shine its light here. Indeed, the first creature to enter for a very long time. Now it's up to the little firefly to reach the answer, along with the hope, the wisdom, and the purpose it holds. Okay. I'm the first? Well, that's something. Totally different than the other parts of the forest. My voice is the only sound echoing in this place. But there is something. What is this feeling? Comforting? Nostalgic? I cannot make it out. Is this where Mother is? The place where I'm supposed to save the forest? Forest, could you give me a hint or something? <laughs> Can you help me out, forest? I think that silence is enough. Okay, well, we'll figure it out, dude. I'm not worried with this twinkly dude. <laughs> this glimmering thing near me, what if I try to fly through? Bonk. Okay. Oh. There are light bulbs. A glass orb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm a genius when it's spelled out for me. Amazing, the whole chamber is lit now. What is that luminous tree in the middle? I don't know, let's go check it out, dude. There's a tree inside of this tree? Tree was pregnant the entire time? Ooh. Hello. The hall is wide, with branches for walls and leaves for a roof. Dense and tight are the walls, preventing any foul intention from reaching in. Glass orbs are glowing, twinkling, lighting every corner. What's powering the light bulbs? They make the tree in the middle of the roots shine majestically. Okay. Tree outshines any light that comes here, but it feels sad to look at. Okay. Why is it so difficult to find you? Okay, we'll check the place out. The water dried out, and a pathway appeared. Okay. Goodbye, tree. The light bulbs dried the water? That's, uh... Those must be a couple watts. <laughs> I don't know anything about light bulbs. Okay. Okay, I see another light bulb. 
Oh! Okay. Feels familiar, like something I've encountered before. The luminous tree is pulsing its rhythm out to its roots. Something must have happened to the tree. Hopefully something interesting. Alright, take me right back. Only, uh, I walked in here to only walk back. Poetic. Fly, I guess. I'm a bug. Ah, it glows. Oh, it's it's got a heartbeat. Ugh. Ma'am? The tree is humming and calling something. Someone? Do you want my rocks? Oh! I didn't click on that. Okay. Okay. I got rocks for that. Uh, boom. Okay. And boom. Wait. Wait. No, come back. Boom. I'm fucking sorry, dude. God, calm down. Okay. Then I'm assuming we have to turn it. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. Oh, that's real nice. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Wait, it's still missing a piece. Oh, in the middle. Okay. I can feel the failure. What a pile of bat guano. Okay, there's a piece that's missing. I'm missing something. Something diff- Mother. No, not the devourers! Okay. I need to find the missing piece. Oh no, bro! Okay, I'm missing a piece. I'm missing a triangle piece. But, but... What? I'm a triangle? I'm shaped like a triangle. Can I just jam myself into the tree? Ooh. Oh! Well, that's convenient. <laughs> Hello. Forrest, I can't hear you whisper. What? This isn't the time to get silent. Okay, flew past the... Yeah, I think it's this. Oh. Oh, mother. I... I... Mother... It had deceived with its whispers. A fearsome figure now stood before the firefly. Wearing a mask of ignorance, moving aimlessly, breathing wildly. The firefly recognized the figure. Everyone knew that figure. It's the outcome of Mother's absence. The birth of countless secret-bearing creatures. Have mercy! Me? Key. Well, I must run. But where? Run! <gasps> Run, Firefly! Uh-oh! No, oh, the tree's red now! Moth. Mo. Oh my god, there's so many of them. They're everywhere. They, they're they everywhere. Where'd they come from? How'd they reach this hidden chamber? Could this mean the forest? Oh, it's too late. The devourers have swallowed the forest. Mother, will I end here? Wherever you are, please wake up. Wah. A gup. Don't come any closer or I'll burn you. But Burn? Burn? <gasps> they're eating me. I am the triangle. Oh, I can't feel my wings. So foolish. I wasted the forest's time and sacrifice. Forgive me, orchid. Forgive me, mushroom. Forgive me, great tree. Potato gloomy, Mr. Reed. Forgive me. Forgive me, mother.
wake up. Wake up, O oh light bearer. I'm awake. Oh, click. Sorry. This seems like the end, so I'm gonna keep going. Where? Huh? What happened? You died, child. What is this place? I was in the forest and devour, and then... Oh. She's beautiful! Whoa, who? What is this feeling? Warmth? Comfort? Calm? Peace? Longing. Oh. The unbearable longing suddenly overflowed. The light bearer remembers a figure who was never supposed to be forgotten. A figure mentioned in every song and good deed. A figure who makes every living thing stand proudly on the ground. The woman who bears hope, creates purpose, and confers wisdom. Longing. I'm longing for you. We are longing for you. Oh, mother. Does this mean my task is done? Did I manage to finish my task? Will the forest be healed? Will the world be green again? What the little firefly, know firefly knows at that moment is that mother embraces it. Hollow, soulless, heartless, her touch gives answers. Her smile confirms its questions. Oh. I was the peace. I looked for you. You roamed around carrying hopes. I came for you. Your light gleamed with wisdom. I prayed to you. You called my name in every purposes. I made you whole. You are the last piece to replace my heart. I found you. You found me. Mother. One light, a hundred lights. They come from every direction, bringing joy and festivity. The light bearers gather, they sing and hum. Twinkling, they exude a restless feeling. They overflow with joy. Hello, Mother. It is so good to see you again. Let us welcome this new age. The age of recovery, the fulfillment of an ancient promise. The age of liberation from the yearning for a day that could only be dreamed of. Let the new sprout replace withered plants. Let us turn our forest green once again. Time of waiting and searching. Mother is present again, awakened to the world. Thus begins the new task. To fill the heart void. To replace the forgotten soul. To comfort the mourning father. That's right, I forgot that this was a story that was being told to children. <sighs> How was it, children? All right, all right, even a child should do their task well, right? But what about orchid, mushroom, and great tree? What about the forest? Did they survive? Mother, mother. Yes, you are right, mother saved them all. 
So, like the firefly, we are supposed to visit orchid, mushroom, and tree temples? The maturity celebration is a commemoration of orchid, the mushroom, and the great tree who devoted themselves to this world. He just spoke. <laughs> so you weren't asleep the whole time. When did you wake up? And you went back to sleep. But Grandma, didn't you say that Firefly is a replacement for Mother's heart? Where is Mother's heart? Is she alright? Do you really want to know? Just like the Firefly, whose task still continues, your story has just begun. Okay. Huh. Okay. Right? Okay. Um, that was the ending of She and the Light Bearer. Um, um, okay. Interesting. So, we're gonna do a review here. Um, take my review as with Valley, as with Will Be, Neko Para Volume 2. Take it with a grain of salt because this game was played over the course of like a year and there were long breaks in between, so I don't remember a lot of what happened uh, at the beginning of the game. Um, but basically she and the light bearer was kind of like a recounting of an old, like from an old woman to some children about, uh, rituals and festivals they do every year, I believe. Um, or ceremonies when they hit a certain age or something like that. Um, and then she launched into this story about how the forest and the world below was dying because mother had disappeared and she had lost her heart. And I guess father was this guy, I think, and father was mourning the loss of mother, and he was coming down to the earth, um, and it wasn't good. It was bad news bears. Uh, so Firefly went out, the light bearer. He went out, and he encountered all these people who knew where she was, and did all these trials, gathered, I guess, what were her belongings, because in the credit scene when she's running, she has the antlers, she has the bow, and she has the scarf, which are all things that firefly gathered throughout the journey uh that were significant um so i guess gathering her things and then he met her um got her out of her slumber awakened her and then became her missing heart which is interesting um it was good it was a very good story actually uh what I what from what I remember, it was very touching. There was uh, obviously a lot of exposition, um, but there was also comedy in it. Firefly was a com a comedic character. There were some characters like there was the, every character had a personality, um, and it it was really nice. And the world was expanded into and. I really have no problems. I don't have much to say. It wasn't outstanding. It wasn't mind-blowing or something that nobody's done before, but it was a good story. Um, I don't know if they left it off as like kind of a cliffhanger there on purpose to make another game for this series, uh, or if this is even going to be a series, but it was a good story. I'll say that it was kind of a basic story. Um, you know, problem, dude going in, fixes it, sacrifices himself, everything gets fixed, and then there. But it was still good. It was, in, in, and it was good in the way that it was told. Uh, through the narration, through the world building, made it enjoyable to sit through. Uh, a plot that kind of has been done before, but they did great at building their own world and, and bringing in all this lore and stuff into this world and giving a good reason as to why the Firefly is going through this stuff. Um, I really have no complaints or problems with it. It wasn't overwhelmingly great or overwhelmingly bad. It was just kind of pleasant. It was enjoyable. It was, it was a game and it was good. I had a good time. Um, now the controls point and click, obviously, blah, 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 not bad at all. Um, the graphics are what kill in Mojikin Studios. And I will say that, um, a Raven monologue was in a very similar vein where it looked really sketched. This was really stylized. It was polygonal. It was like almost cell shaded, almost cartoony, but it was also had the effect of it looked like crayons. The drawings looked like crayons. They looked, they were great and expressive. There was animation throughout all of the set pieces. The plants were bouncing. Things, the fireflies tail was constantly giving off light and rotating around. And there was great um, little animations for all the characters. And it, it, it was fantastic. I love the art style of this game. That's one of the things that caught my eye the most when I was approached about this game. Um, 
So absolute 10 out of 10 there. It's a gorgeous game. The audio, fantastic. There's partial voice acting and partial being like partial, partial, partial. They don't say words in the, the English tongue, but they do mumble and, and do things. Um, in this and it was it was cute it was entertaining it was nice the soundtracks were really pleasant very soothing as you want with the point and click um and that's all i have to say about that i will add on that i was approached by mojikin studios to play this game um i can't remember if i bought it or i was given a key but i do really appreciate them reaching out to me i love what you guys do your stories and your uh world building through narration and graphics are awesome seriously awesome keep doing what you're doing if you have another game that's coming out that you want me to play let me know i would love to do that but overall this was an enjoyable experience it was just that it was just enjoyable nice and easy going easy breezy relaxing and calm and i liked it um i hope you guys liked it too please check out the links to she and the light bearer there's links to mojikin studios uh website the she and the light bearer web main website and the steam store page where you can buy this game if you want to um i do recommend buying it or at least showing the devs that you saw it and you like it send them an email let them know that what they did was awesome or let them know what you didn't like about a game just give feedback because it's so important to have feedback for games to keep coming out and i love games so <laughs> but anyways guys this is the finale of she and the light bearer and the uh we'll, we'll be having a new game hit the channel probably next week um, I'm going to be recording Nekopara at the same capacity that I recorded this today, which is an hour and a half. Um, and I'm just going to keep on recording until that game is done. And then once that game is done, I'm going to put up, you know, I have Layers of Fear. I have a bunch of other games that I'm going to put up. Uh, so we'll start getting some new content in our regular 20-ish minute episodes instead of half an hour. Um, because my voice can't handle half an hour uh, very easily. So that is it, guys. We're going to have a new game on the channel after Nekopara and... That's it for me. But if you like this video, please leave me a like or comment down below the video. And if you liked me, then why not subscribe today for some more content in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the finale. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the series. Please have a fantastic day and the night out there wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. And please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next video.